I really appreciate you joining me for this follow-up story that is available to read on the website as well. Some people may have watched a video I did the other day about a suspected cannabis factory that had burned down on the 7th of May and several months later they found one of the bodies of four missing Vietnamese nationals whose family had told the police that they'd been gone on the 21st of July. One of the bodies wasn't discovered until several days later and this week Greater Manchester Police have said they've found other bodies. The victims' names are Kuang Van Chu, Yuok Van Win, Duang Van Win, and Nam Tan Lee. Kuang, 39, arrived in the UK in June 2019. He maintained regular contact with his wife and children, but they hadn't heard from him since the day of the fire. Yuok had also maintained contact with his wife, but she had not heard from him since the day of the fire also. Duong arrived in the UK approximately 12 months ago and he contacted his family approximately 3 months ago in which time he said he was living in the abandoned warehouse. The other national, Nam, arrived in the UK in January 2022. He contacted his family on the 4th of May, several days before the fire, and he said that he was living in a derelict house in Dam, which they believed to be Oldham. Teams were searching the remnants of the mill after demolition workers discovered the remains on the 23rd of July. The fire service didn't search the remains after the fire due to the ferocity of the fire that they'd been battling for four days and they wasn't aware that anybody was inside at the time. The local media reported that they believed it was a cannabis factory and the small amount of footage that I managed to find from the fire shows how intense it was and how loud it was as well. There was a lot of things popping inside the factory at the time. The fire service said we are continuing to search Bismarck House Mill to ensure the recovery of all human remains and any objects of significance. The investigation team is working on several lines of inquiry relating to the fire and the activities of the mill beforehand. Until they found the bodies, they were keeping an open mind as to whether there was in there as well. Detective Lewis Hughes from the GMP Victim Identification said, I speak on behalf of the whole operation when I say our thoughts are with the family members. Especially train police are in direct contact with them as well, trying to reassure them the investigation will be done with the utmost importance. So this is a really sad end to a story which has got little media attention nationwide. But at the same time it's really important to highlight it because of the reality of people's lives as well, what they're actually living. Two of them may have been related with the same surname, Win, and it definitely makes you think about the ten, the 6,000 mile journey that they both took and the risks that they took in order to get to Oldham, to end up in this factory and lose their life. And of course, everybody has opinion on immigration and illegal immigration, but it's really important as well to understand why people do it and what incentivizes them. And maybe the reality of it would make people think again. But I really want to hear what people have to say on this story and rest in peace to the four men that have lost their life trying to provide for their families as well. And I'll definitely keep you updated if there is an inquiry into this case or any other information. Thank you. Please don't forget to follow online as well at Scar City Studios on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Right at the scene, they were met with a very serious fire, a well-developed fire in the building. The decision was made at that time not to commit any firefighters into the building for two reasons. Firstly, the fire was well-developed and was continuing to grow. And secondly, there were some concerns about the structural stability.